Hi, this is Mamta, technical writer for GE Digital. I'm going to show you the alarm count by resource feature introduced in Simplicity 2022. You can now enable the alarm counter for a resource, which allows you to count or classify the alarms based on the resource at which they are generated. You can view the total alarms, unacknowledged alarms, and unreset alarms for the resources for which you have enabled the counters. When you try to create a new resource, you can see that a checkbox called Enable Alarm Counters is added, which allows you to enable the alarm counters for this resource. It is disabled by default and it is not available in dynamic mode. I will enable this checkbox. The resource is added to the list and the value of this column is set to 1 if you have enabled the counters. Else it is set to 0. You can right click an existing resource and enable or disable the alarm counters. You can also select multiple resources and enable or disable the alarm counters. You can also enable the alarm counter for a resource using a script. So I am creating a script to add the resource. I'm creating a resource with name area1 and here I have this parameter resource.enableAlarmCounters. When this is set to true, the alarm counter is added for this resource. I'm running the script and you can see the resource is generated and the alarm counter is enabled. Also this checkbox here is enabled. We will see how you can display alarm counts per resource in SimView. For a resource that has alarm counter enabled, the corresponding counter points are generated. Using these points, you can view the number of alarms, unacknowledged alarms, and unreset alarms at the resource. So I have created a SimView screen. I want to display the alarm counts for two resources, mixing and tanks. I have used this expression to display the alarm count. You can browse for the system generated counter points for the resource and use them to display the count value. For the demo, I have created three points for the mixing resource and one point for the tanks resource. In the PCP, you can see that all of them are in alarm state. If I open the SimView screen, you can see that the values are displayed correctly. All the points are in alarm state, 3 in mixing resource, 1 in tanks resource, and all of them are unacknowledged and unreset. Let's open the alarm viewer. I'm going to acknowledge one alarm from mixing and one from tanks resource. So the number of unacknowledged alarms in mixing resource is 2 and in tanks it's 0. You can now see the count has changed in the SimView screen accordingly. Now I am resetting the alarms that I acknowledged and you would see the counts will change accordingly. Now only two alarms in mixing resource and they are both unacknowledged and unreset. You can also monitor the alarm count using the performance monitor. We now have a counter called HMI alarm resource. It will display all the resources from various projects that have the alarm counter enabled. I have two alarms in mixing resource. It is displaying it in the graph here. Total alarms are represented in red, acknowledged alarms in green, reset alarms in blue. I will acknowledge one alarm. And you can see the graph is changed. 
I hope this video was helpful. For more information, you can visit our website ge.com/digital. You'll also find some useful links in the description below.